Hello everybody, this is No Longer Tipsy here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Test Drive Unlimited Platinum. Now before we get started, there's a couple of things what you'll need. One, you'll need DirectX Runtime, in case you do not have this or ever installed this before, for example such as a clean install on a computer. You'll need to have this installed, the link will be in the description. And you can see, it's right here. All you do is select your language, download, download which one you want and that's it, install it and run it. Brilliant. The second thing you will need is a clean install of Test Drive Unlimited 1. So basically how to get this is you get a lucky on the internet somewhere or you actually buy the original version of Test Drive which is an only legal copy of a disc. There is no such thing as a digital download so like I said you either get lucky on the internet or you actually just go and buy the disc yourself. It's up to you, it can't be a modded crack side, it's got to be completely original. And so I've, I've got here, I've got for this version. So what we're going to do right now is simply install Test Drive 1 and then I will get back to you shortly. Oh, just before I actually go, when you're installing this, there will be lots of music playing from Test Drive itself. So I would highly recommend you mute this. If you still want to listen to music in the background or do all the stuff while this is playing, you simply right click on your speaker button, open mixer volume. Actually if uh, install driver module, uh, if you just want to breathe sample, what's music playing? So there you go, just make sure you mute that. Right, I will get back to you in a second. Okay, so everything's copied over. We need to make sure we click replace the files in the destination and let that do its thing. Make sure you click do this for all current items and click continue. Now it's going to say time remaining about 20 minutes for me, but trust me, it's about 10 seconds of anything. And you can see it's going down really fast. And there we go, we officially got Test Drive Unlimited Platinum installed. Now before I carry on with any of this, I'm off to show you, just go back in this folder and talk about a little about this. So in the extras folder, we have got multiple price cars. So how to install this, it would actually tell you everything. We're not going to install it, well I'm not, because this might cause problems with grain regression, progression as it removes requirements to buy the vehicles. Uh, obviously I want to progress in the game, then I'll probably replace it. However, for me, I want the HD patch for Test Drive Limited. So, all this is dependent on your graphics card. I've got a GTX 1080, so my graphics card is more than capable of handling this. If your graphics card is not good, or is not capable of handling stuff, I would recommend not to, to mess with the HD or SD settings, but however, if you know what you're doing, you have the SD, then you've got the HD, 100, 300 and 500 and then unlimited. If you want how to install this, you're just simply going to click on install test, just replace the files in this location. So Euro Bank Level Hawaii. So I'm off to open up for one I want. I'm off to go here, so Euro BNK Level Hawaii. And I'm just simply saying again, copy and paste over. Replace, ticks, continue. So next we've got profile guys, so this is telling you how to um, install for mod with an existing profile, so like for one I had before but I just deleted it, or how to make a new profile. Make sure you read them both, if, especially if you want to keep your old profile, because we're going to go through a new profile very soon, but if you want to keep your old profile, make sure you read that, so you know how to install it, uh, sorry, to get your account working. Now Russian is just an optional language if you want to speak it in Russian and for Platinum Toolkit if you want to mod for game itself and still use Platinum so if you want to mod certain cards how to look blah 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 you need to make sure you use these tools as it says in text without these tools you won't be able to modify TDU Platinum properly simple as that and that is everything to go through in there so I'm off to close that down and then I'm off to go in the TDU Platinum update patch. 
And it's going to be the same again. We're going to open Test Travel Limited, Euro, and copy straight over. Continue. Whoops. Wrong one. You need to make sure you're at the beginning. Sorry. Then copy the Euro over. And this will replace the files. Do this. Continue. And there you go. You're now on the latest patch. Now on Extra. We've also got a couple of extra things. Some multiple price cards again. We've already talked about this. However, this 4GB executables will sort out a lot of bugs in the game. And how to install it is exactly the same. Highlight them. Drag them over. Replace. Continue. Now for me, I also like a challenge. So expert bots is what it says in the game. They're kind of expert, but they're better than what they were. So I'm not complaining. And now to install this is we're gonna go in Euro Bank Database. So we're gonna go Euro BNK Database and copy it over like that. And that is everything. So only thing left to do now is to make a shortcut. So for shortcut I would definitely use is a Project Paradise launcher. We can't use that or that has to be the launcher. So I'm just off to simply make a shortcut so it's on my desktop. And then what we're going to do is simply launch it. Now, you're going to get the screen. So let's go through through things. To play online and sort out quite a bit of books as well, you need to have this ticked. You've got to have this six at all times. Now the FS tweak is depending on your graphics card, so it's up to you if you want to have it off. SDHD, I want it in HD. Display SPF says it in the name. Hide wheel, excuse me. High wheel would hide for wheel and for avatar, which I want to see myself. Obviously, window, do not save and sync. As I'll go through those two first. Up to you if you want to play it in window or unlock settings. Completely up to you. But I would definitely recommend having VZCon. on. Reason for this is cost for game does not like high FPS at all. Um, if you do have 5 FPS, it will cause the traffic to be glitchy in the game. And when you're in missions, you tend to find every single cop car is invisible, and you're gonna get cops on you for no reason. So make sure you get these ticked. Now for fuel, obviously this enables fuel mode in game. Um, so for fuel mode. Um, obviously adapts to your driving style so obviously if you're racing around all the time you're using more fuel if you're not racing around and cruising you're using less fuel so similar to simple life uh, if you've got enough fuel mode and you run out of fuel you press backspace to, roll your funk, uh, to refill your tank at a gas station uh, if you're not at a gas station then you can press enter on the keyboard to teleport to the nearest gas station when you run out of gas, simple as that. Manual shifter mode uh, just makes all vehicles used for H shifter, and solar races is what enables hard car mode in the game. So, what you see here, what I've got ticked is exactly what I'm off to play with. So, like I said, you definitely need for big dot BNK enabled, and I definitely recommend having VSync. Everything else is personal preference. And what we're going to do is click start, and your game should launch. If your game does not launch and it is saying you are missing for D3DX9.DLL, sorry, X9 underscore 43.LL, you need to have enabled, uh, sorry, not a name, you need to have downloaded for a runtime uh, directory X runtime. This is why you need to have that installed, otherwise, it's going to cause errors. So, what we're going to do now is simply make an account because everything's worked now it's launched and show you how to get online so just quite simply type where's my mouse going a nickname what you want so for me i'm gonna do i don't know nlt ass so any nickname you want up to you uh, whatever you want now if you want to play online you have to take games by id if you do not take games by id you will need to enter an email address and password. It can be any email address and it can be any password. However, please make sure you can remember them because if you need to reinstall your test drive and get back online with your account, this is how you're going to do it.
So obviously, remember me123 at and password, any password you want. Oops. So once you've done that, you just simply click OK. Oh, really? <laughs> How about that? NLT Arsleek. Remember me, 123, any password. OK. And then you're going to be connecting to a test travel into servers. So, yay! And there we go. We're officially online, so we need to click new game, um, and then we need to do Vittorial, uh, so that's by renting a car, doing a race, buying a house, buying a car, so all that crap at the beginning, and then you will officially be online with new players. So I will do that in the next video, and I hope you enjoyed this guys, any questions just leave a comment in below, and just let me know what you think, this is my first YouTube video, all the feedback is appreciated, so thank you, have a nice day.